سبحان الله يا الله الله I'm not that person in the mirror. If you get a picture of yourself right now, eat all of us, me included, and a picture of you when you were six months old and put the two pictures together, they don't look the same. You understand now? Why? Because your physiology is changing, but your essence stays the same. Now I make it look clear now. Okay, so if my essence stays the same, then what is this death and what is this life? Didn't the Quran say, and every soul shall have a taste of death? Yes. You remember that? Yes. It says every soul shall have a taste of death. It didn't say the soul will die. Mm -hmm. And we missed that point. Mm -hmm. Okay? So the human being is mortal and immortal. You, you will die and you will not die. That sounds like double language, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. That physical body that you have is going to die. But you inside, you're not going to die. It's like the mother when she's pregnant with the baby. The baby in here is alive. But the creature in here must die to this existence to come out here to a higher dimension. Are you following it now? Is it, is it speaking to you more powerfully? No, is it clear? Okay, so the human being doesn't fear death. Because death is nothing but change. Now, I'm going to tell you this now. The physical body doesn't die. Oh, Nasser lost his mind. <laughs> doesn't die. Listen, listen. They said, look at that earth is dead. The earth is not dead. The whole earth is alive. If you don't believe it, get any part of it, put a nice seat in, give us some water, you're going to see life come out of what you thought was dead. Hmm? Yes. So, you look at, you, we say, Dr. Ramadan and myself, we say the person that's dead, we use this language. Now, what do we determine it by? We take a stethoscope and we put it on the chest, right? We listen for a love dub, love dub. We listen for the sound that the movement of the heart makes. We say somebody's alive because they move. We say they're dead because they don't move. The body's not moving, the heart's not moving. You follow me now? Now you take any dead body, put it in the, in the morgue, on the table like this, and walk away from it and just leave it there. Don't put it in the ground. The body will be this big when you put it there. You come back, it'll be this big. What did it do? You said it's dead, but it's moving. You didn't get that, did you? It's moving. So it's, 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 it's dead to be able to communicate with you. But it's moving for the will of Allah to go start another life all over again. It's going to start grass. It's going to start roses. You hear what I'm telling you? Because it did its job with you perfect. Now it's going to find something else to do for us, Lord. So it moves. It will, it will stretch like this. It gets bigger, doesn't it? It swells up. That's what we, it swells. And it starts stinking. You understand? We think that's a bad thing. It's a good thing. Whatever Allah has created is good. It stinks to us, but it smells good to the creatures that got to break it down. They say, dinner's ready. <laughs> and they will go break it down. You hear what I'm telling you? Just like when your mom or somebody cook that good meal, you throw it ready. <laughs> and you take it in you so you can evolve better, right? So you can live a better life. <clears throat> now look, we go back to this rope here. This rope here that was in the human being, it says that this is the rope. And you depend on this rope in here so that you can have the physiological life. Without the rope, you have no life. Now if the floor get hard for you, get a chair. Now, you see this book here? Muhammad the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, the, the half of the law is the kitab in law. The, the rope of Allah is the, is the book of Allah. Now what's our problem? We have a Quran around here, I need a Quran. Yeah, I need an English Arabic Quran. If you can find me one, my eyes used to be good. I need one that's kind of big, but the letter is big. Do you know the books? Look, look there, people. You know the books that we have now? They weren't in the shape? that they are not, you know how to make books years ago? Some of you know, but I'm saying this for who don't know. The books used to be like this. Thank you. It's called a what? Scroll. A scroll. And this looks like a what? A rope. You want to see it now. 
So the rope that guarantees us life and the womb of our mothers, we need now another rope. That's so the Kitab Allah was the rope of what? The scroll of Allah that contains that contains his 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 sacred his sacred words. Now, look. So number one is the rope that's in the body, the umbilical cord. You come out of the umbilical cord, and what do you do? You cut it, right? But when you were coming out and I'm coming out, were we were, were we aware that we were tied by a rope? Were we aware? No. We, it was invisible to us. We didn't even know who we were. You understand that? So you come from this rope to the second rope. What's the what's this second rope now? What is the second rope? It's nature itself. Now, as I depend on the umbilical cord in the womb, I have to depend on what's natural in the world. I have to depend on the air. That's that's rope. I don't get the air, I'm not gonna live. I have to depend on the, on the food. I have to depend on the water. So nature is now what? The second rope. You see? Now most people can't see that, just like they couldn't see that they had an umbilical cord when they were when they were in the womb. The, the in a, inability to see it remains for the people. I hope you're following what I'm saying. Yes. The human being that depend, that was respect this rope, as he respected this rope, he gets the third rope. And the third rope is the Quran. That's your third rope. I'm trying to show you why you have to read the Quran. You read it whether you understand it or not. No. But I'm showing you why. So that if, 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 if you respect this, I mean, all of us have to be told this. I have to be told this. I have to be reminded also of the importance of that book. Why would Allah give us this book if it didn't have deep significance? Now, let's see what. I can erase this, right? Huh? Yeah, you erased it. Man, what is Allah taught? He's called Rabbi al Alami. Am I right or wrong? Huh? Rabbi al Alami. <clears throat> so some of you could you know Arabic, so this will mean a lot to you now. <clears throat> El, okay, El, which is what? Go, right? Raise your hand, Arabic. Okay. You stay in the class. Ah, right? El, ah, what? La, what? Me, come on. Nah. Me, sukum, right? right? Nah. So this means what? The worlds. See? <clears throat> RLDS, right? Now, you have another term that you'll say like this here. Same thing. L, A, like this. Same letter, same shape. I'm going to do it just like this. See? Everything is the same. Guess what the difference is? One little mark. You have iron, there's iron. See now? I'll say to those who read here. Here's, here's Alice, there's Alice, right? Huh? Lamb, lamb. Mean, mean. Vow E, vow E. Y with sukun, Y with sukun. N with A, N, A. Gotta be a different somewhere. This means the worlds. This means the scholars. El Alimin. This is what? El Alamin. Now I'm sure you this. Just, just hold on. If you this means many worlds. You hear me? Many worlds. So how would I say one world? I'm, I'm trying to inspire you who are not in Arabic to get in here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to really make you excited. If I want to, this this end right here makes it a whole bunch of worlds. So if I take this. This wire off there, this is what I'm going to have left. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like this. Ah, lamb. Ah, lamb. See? Ah, lamb. Like this. Well, so come on. We'll do it like that. Ah, lamb. That's for one world. Mm -hmm. Now this means what? Many scholars. So if I take that same in off here, you see what I'm taking off? All I took was that e, e, e to off. I'm going to have this left. See? So what's it going to be? Same thing. Ah, instead of la, it's going to, somebody said, it's going to be e, e, and then m. Now, here's the point. Here's the point. This 
this is a scholar. This is how you say one scholar. Scholar, like this. And we call them an island. You ever heard the term island? You know they got that program? They every crawl on what? Island. Do you have the island? But what is it trying to tell you? What is Allah telling us? He's the Rabbil Alameen. He's telling you that the world or nature, see, nature is first. See, the Alameen, the world, the universe is first. Then comes the human being, and nature then will produce the ideas that man needs to live on this earth. Now, hold on. Yeah. Your ideas do not come first. Your nature comes first. Your ideas come second. Now, let's see if we can see this. In the, you, when you were in the church, even in the mosque, it so says that Allah is going to destroy the world in the last day. You heard that, right? right. Yeah. So, <clears throat> here I have this term. Can you spell world for me? Spell it. In English. W -R -L -B. W -R -L -B. W -R -L -B. Thank you. Now, I had the same thing and I do it like this here. See? What's missing? L. 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 Now, I'm seeing this, and here's the problem for most human beings. God is going to destroy the world. Yes, he is. But nowhere in the Quran does Allah say he's going to destroy the earth. Some of you say, hmm, you get it. Earth and world are not the same. The earth is what Allah created. The world is what man makes on the earth. The American world, isn't it on the one earth? I don't know if you're with me. Isn't the Chinese world on the one earth? Isn't the Arab world on what? The one earth? So the earth is not the problem. It's the world that has been... <laughs> Ooh, you should see the, the face of something. Thank God I got it! Yeah. So you, look, 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 look. You live on, listen that. You live on the earth with the trees. You, you see what I'm trying to show? And with the mountains, you live on the earth. But you live in your own what? World. That's right. So listen to me. The words that you have in your mind makes the world that you live in. Yeah. And your world is not necessarily what is natural. Right. So what is the problem? Now I took you back to the MWD. Right. Yes, the problem is work. And the problem is we are confusing perception. Write this down. I see I'm going fast. So tell me, help me with the spelling. Perception as reality. That's the confusion. You got a problem with your husband or your wife? The problem is right here. It ain't here. It's here. You saying that this is real. Am I making this sense to you? How many of you remember when you were little and, and well, I was in the church and they told me Santa Claus coming down the chimney <laughs> and Easter eggs, rabbit legs. You remember all that? Yes. Some of you, if, if you were born in Islam, you got Christian members that believed that. Somewhere in your family. They believe it. If you tell it to a child real small, the child will have a perception that is what? Real. Why does the child perceive it as real? Because it trusts you as a parent. You're not going to lie to it. You understand? I had 15 brothers and sisters born and all of us lived in a, <laughs> in a house no bigger than half of this room. No chimney. <laughs> and I, when I was a little bitty kid, ooh, you can control my behavior because what I believe. Now look now, if that's the case, then your belief, what you believe in, is, it, is founded on your knowledge. Do you understand what I'm telling you? It is your knowledge that tells you what you believe in. And therefore, your knowledge is going to shape your personality. Can you see it now? Yeah. So a person will be acting a certain way, and they believe in the way they're acting. Because the knowledge that they have to them is real knowledge.
Allah. Subhanallah. Allah.